The name comes from uh, a band of horses song, the band Band of Horses, uh, called uh, Abide in Time in the Boat to Row. Um, that I, when I was listening to them like, many years ago, yeah. just uh, got hold of one of their demos, which the song was on. Yeah. And it's kind of like, it's really weird trying to think of a band name. Yeah. I think it's almost impossible, really. Yeah. You can't re it, it just comes to you or it doesn't. And I was just looking through my iTunes at song titles or lyrics through books, anything that kind of stood out that was maybe relevant in some way. And I don't know, I just saw that little phrase and quite liked it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I guess like a lot of our, maybe a lot of my writing early on was kind of influenced a lot by like maritime kind of themes perhaps. Right. And, I mean, it wasn't really a conscious decision to write songs mm. about that, but I don't know, I guess if it's what you're interested in, it's what you're yeah. interested in. Yeah, and so like, it kind of went quite well with a few ideas I had in the beginning, but... Yeah, it just stuck really. Oh, yeah. Ben, have you kicked your guitar out of there? Julian is hating me right now, I've just annihilated it. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go right back to the beginning then. Earliest musical memory, what would it be? Who wants to go first? I'll go first. The first concert I ever went to was to see Def Leppard at the NIA. Yeah. It's pretty rocking. Yeah. I read the BFG with a torch in the car on the way there. Whoa. Got ready to rock as soon as we got there. Whoa. How old were you at the time? Uh, I was 10 then. Yeah. And before that, I had uh, some cassettes with like Def Leppard and Aerosmith on it. So, yeah. you know, that influence comes through pretty strong in my terrain. That was kind of stuff my parents used to listen yeah. to, so that's yeah. how I got into that. Cool. <coughs> um, mine's uh, Tchaikovsky, Romeo and Juliet. There's a bit of a different set <laughs> there, hey? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I was about, I don't know how old I was, was like, yeah. yeah. My, parent, my mum was listening to it and I told her to turn it off because it was too sad. <laughs> Which it is. Wow. I didn't know yeah. at the time, but yeah. I must have had a sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Lydia? Lydia? Um, my first cassette was Take That, and I was six, and it was when um, Me Like My Fire was Christmas number one. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that'd be a good tribute, man. <laughs> yeah. We have one actually in Worcester called Take Fat, Whoa. they're like over 20 stone kind of oh, thing. Oh, I remember that. There's a guy who like, spins up for it called Bobby Williams. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that actually is true. I'm not made yeah. that up. Yeah. Yeah. Jason Bobby Williams. Jason Clockwork Orange or something, <laughs> isn't there? Chocolate Orange, yeah. 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 That's yeah. incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ben. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Michael. Your, your turn. Yes. All right. Um, I remember this, well, I remember there being a lot of Elvis presently going through the King household when I was yeah. growing up. Uh, I remember being really scared by um, this Wasp record that my dad had, it was under the bed. Yeah. And obviously, like, as a kid, you kind of get freaked out by yeah. stuff under the bed. And there's like loads of Iron Maiden and Ozzy Osbourne records, and this Wasp record, and it's like a skull. I don't know what the record's called, but I remember this skull, and people are walking out of it, and it's like loads of like nasty people, yeah. like you've got like, members of the KKK, yeah. you've got like Hitler, you've yeah. got horrific people yeah. from history just walking out of this school. Yeah. And I just remember being really scared by it. Um, so that stuck with me for quite a while. Cool. Um, but yeah, my grandma used to like play me loads of like, well she used to sing me like loads of lullabies, like yeah. loads of old skiffle tunes, like yeah. Annie Donegan stuff and Buddy Holly. Yeah. So um, I've, been, I've been around good music. Yeah. 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 First ever gig, do you remember your first ever ever gig? Mine was Yeah, Yeah, did you play? Oh, played. Yeah, played. Mine was my school hall, choir. Yeah. And I was eleven. Which school was this then? This was William Brook School in Muchbank. Right. The first ever performance I had was when I was like fourteen, I think. At a place called the Kingswood Tavern in the Newton. Okay. And uh, I was just in a band with a bunch of friends, really. Um, and we played, that was our first time last game. But it was like, yeah, I, I remember it. I remember yeah. it really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the place I should have really brought my family to, but they came along anyway. <laughs> that was quite interesting. Um, yeah. Emma? Okay. I've played just classically, really. For Years and years. Where have you played, Anna? You've played in some well, pretty yeah. amazing places. Yeah. <laughs> but the first one. I played in Sydney Opera House. Wow. Royal Upper Hall, Queen Elizabeth oh. Hall. Solid. Form, form of life. Hard round. Yeah, solo performance. Solo? 
Yeah. Um, wow. And me and my sister used to um, play a lot together. She's a percussionist. We yeah. used to have like a duo, and so we used to used to play together. And we um, sort of had a, a sort of working relationship with the male voice choir because we're from Cardiff. Yeah. And there's a big tradition of male voice choirs there, so we we toured with the male voice choir, and they used to invite us along when they did their concerts, and we used to do little slots. Yeah, that, that wasn't my first gig, but I'm sure it was something like a, like a, like a little choir that yeah. I used to be in or something like that, yeah. or an orchestra. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty lame compared to that. Um, <laughs> I, well, it wasn't even really a proper gig, like we used to just play in the school rehearsal rooms and people used to come and watch us. I'm pretty sure Michael like, walked past once. Me and, me and Ben went to the same school, oh, he was right. a year above yeah. me. Um, but I remember when I was, I would have been year 10 when Ben yeah. was in year 11, and playing in like, um, like the practice spaces. Yeah. And I do, I do recall seeing Ben, we didn't know each other, yeah. but Ben had an offspring hoodie on, I remember that. Yeah. And, uh, it wasn't good enough for you to investigate who I was. It took a long time. Yeah, sounds pretty cool. Cool. And so you two kind of got together with the band, was it? No, we, no, we, we met at college. Yeah. I remember yeah. the first time I probably met Michael. Like, he was in the practice room at college playing guitar, like shredding up. And uh, everyone was in the corridor, like, who's this guy who played it? And I was like, this guy seems pretty arrogant. And then. <laughs> but said, no, he wasn't, so it was okay. Yeah, so we met at college, and we used, to, we used to play in bands together then. Cool. We used to uh, learn songs. Yeah. On acoustic guitar and hide in the library behind shelves and play yeah. together. There's really hot library areas, so yeah. that help. Yeah. How did you how did you manage to play in the library? Well, because the librarian was pretty hot. We used to like try and talk to her. And With she, your guitar? Yeah. And she, she like she, we, we used to play like Jimmy World Time just to play and she used to like the band so she like just like yeah. practicing one of the city city places at that time. Oh, wow. Whoa. Um, yeah. So much. Like, <laughs> you two girls kind of meet meet up for the band there. Um, I joined the band a year ago. Yeah. Um, I was, <laughs> yeah, I was playing with another band at the time actually, yeah. and then these guys needed someone to cover, um, to play violin for a while, so I kind of covered for someone and then um, enjoyed it <coughs> and, and joined yeah. a few months later. So yeah, I've been in the band yeah. a year. Has only been in the band since like March or something. Really? Six months now. Yes, yeah, six months. Yeah. I suppose I was sort of approached from my other band as well. Yeah. What was your other band? Uh, I was in a band called the Bonfire Records previously, right. which was a folk band, but more like instrumental. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like, you know how we mentioned about like writing and stuff, yeah. like Lydia's like an amazing jazz fiddler. Like, yeah. um, and you know, that's, we've, we've written pretty much like an album's worth of material with, with Lydia alone, yeah. because it's been really interesting and really kind of quick working together. Yeah. Um, and, and so that's taken us out in somewhere different that we wouldn't have went to before. And, yeah. and that's kind of the beauty of it, really, how it's really open to anyone's interpretation, cool. which is nice. What's the best gig you've done so far? I think it's probably... Well, I suppose it depends on like, what line are we talking about, really. Yeah. Um, I think my favourite gig we've ever done, we played at um, uh, Birmingham O2 Academy last year. Yeah. And um, it just went really well. I think Played one of the best we've ever played, and it was like a, it's like a huge PA that could really yeah. deal with the sound, yeah. and it sounded amazing. It's like left the playing as well, because mm -hmm. it's obviously like it's a big room, yeah. it's a huge room, and you know, we're not a big band by any means, mm -hmm. we're kind of a small band that are trying to do what we do, but you know, we managed to pack the place out, and you know, it kind of gave us a taste of yeah. what it would be like to play with that many people, really, yeah. which is really exciting. Mm -hmm. and we played like, I don't know, I, I kind of I take positives from most gigs to be yeah. fair. Like we played loads of festivals last summer and you know, that was a great experience to be able to play in, like, to loads of people all at once that yeah. you would never have the chance to do. Um, and that, so that was really special. Yeah. Any, any bad gigs? Any stands out? The worst, the worst gig that we, that we, we had yeah. was when we didn't actually end up playing we, uh, we, we had like this really horrible drive. We were meant to be going to Kent. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, which is all yeah. really yeah. kind of like yeah. uh, quite quite a full drive. Yeah. And we got stuck on the M25, of course, oh. um, for about three hours. Yeah. And the address that we were given, I don't know if it was wrong or, or whatnot. I don't think it was. I just think our sat nav was having yeah. having us on, and we ended up <laughs> going to Folkestone. 
I'm very glad it's straight past the gig with Jake there. And so it was almost a 12, 15 hour drive. Oh my god. To then just drive from one end of the country back home <laughs> again. <laughs> and like, at the time, it was just like the worst yeah. thing ever. So yeah. that was pretty bad. It was like me and Mike used to live together at that yeah. point. And I think we were both driving in different cars. Yeah. And we just got back in the house, like, looked at each other, didn't say anything, and just went to bed. <laughs> 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 it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, right, time for another one? Sure, yeah. Um, this song's called In the Garden. And it's another new song. I do apologise for my nasal tones today. That's <laughs> oh, all right. There's no instrument changes or anything this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 